because half my staff is down at the courthouse for Kim's trial. Uh, is Harriet joining us? Uh, no, mm. no. Uh, there's a meeting at the Herbman home. Oh, well, I know Lisa's at the courthouse and your Uncle Earl's in New no, York. No, he's back. He called a little while ago. Oh, it'll be good to see him. Yeah, but he's not the one who's coming. I get it. Uh, then I, I, I gotta guess who, who's coming. No, I... no, I'll just explain before... Uh, no need to guess. Our mystery guest has now arrived. Uh, Brian, old fella. Nice to see you again. Uh, ah, Aaron. You look so lovely. Oh, hello, Mrs. Snyder. Yes, uh, Lily. 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 Oh. You had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mom. I shouldn't have run off like that. I know. Sorry. It's all right, darling. You're alive and well, and that's all that really matters. Well, thanks. That's what Iva said, too. Look at me, please, Miss Talbot. Is it true that you lied to your own cousin to protect a man you loved when you knew at the time that he was responsible for three cold-blooded murders? Elaine. Your answer, Miss Talbot? The truth, please. Miss Talbot, do you understand the question? Yes. Then will you please give Mr. Hughes your answer? Right at this moment, I don't think I've ever hated anyone else in my whole life as I hate you. Miss Talbot. Yes, it's... It's true, but I, I only lied to protect... To protect Douglas Cummings at any and all costs. No, to protect my cousin Elaine, whom I love very much. I thought if she found out about Henry's death, she would suspect Douglas was responsible. As you did? Yes. I thought she might do something foolish, try to confront him. And end up like Marie Kovac, Cal Randolph, and the man she hoped to marry, Dr. Henry Strauss. No, I was just afraid. All right, Miss Talbot. Let's go over your feelings for Douglas Cummings once again. You said that you realized that they were not requited, yet you harbored all these romantic fantasies about your employer. Romantic fantasies that led you to lie to your own cousin who you claim that you love about the death of her fiancé. Is it possible that these romantic fantasies and this obsessive love led you to lie when you said that Kim and Franny Hughes murdered Douglas Objection, Cummings? Objection, Your Honor! Honor. Sailing, oh, I object to the defections of those two women. Oh, the defense counsel is ignoring my objection. The jury will ignore the implications of that last question and it will be stricken from the record. Counselor. Any future displays of such unprofessional conduct, and I'll have you in contempt of court. No further questions, Your Honor. This portion brought to you today by All Vegetable Crisco. Crisco makes pie crust flaky. And by Downy, the fabric softener that combines skin-loving softness with the airy April freshness you love. I don't know why you did it yet, darling. I don't understand what it, how you even got here to this farm all by yourself. But come on, come on. Well, well, tell me all about stay it. and have, have a little Oh, lunch no, no, that's oh, so please. generous of you. Oh, no, please, no. Mom, I haven't talked to Dusty at, at all since I've gotten back. <laughs> He's outside with Meg. I'll go well, uh, no, I have Mr. Mitchell is waiting oh, in, wait, the, in the car. Hold it, hold it. Uh, invite Mr. Mitchell in, also for lunch, I'm okay? I'm sure that Mr. Mitchell has other plans. Why don't you stay, Mrs. Wall? <laughs> oh, please, let me stay for lunch, please. All right, baby, yeah. that's what you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Where's that Mark? Hello. Evan, oh, that young man just there. invited me into lunch. <laughs> Hello. That was my son Holden. I'm Emma Snyder. Oh, pleased to uh, meet Mr. you. Richards. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm full of potato salad. I've had set the plates for another oh, two people. Sure. Yes. What oh. a charming <laughs> kitchen. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, what a work of art. Well, this should be on a pedestal in the museum. <laughs> well, it's just an apple pie. Oh. Lily. Hey. Mm. Yes. We're staying for lunch. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, put, uh, we'll put Mr. Walsh right here. Brian, you look as surprised to see me as I was that Aaron invited me. Shannon. I'm sorry. I'll never get that straight. You were Aaron when I married you. It's not easy to forget. Well, try. Listen, in light of that conversation we had last night, I thought the faster we got things over with, the better for all of us. Just what things are you talking about? Shannon and I have discussed your interest in my island. If my uh, father's... Widow has no objections. I'm prepared to offer you the property at a, what I consider to be a fair price. In exchange, what I want from you is a statement declaring that Shannon was inebriated at the time of the marriage and that the wedding was never consummated. I drafted this. I'd like it signed and notarized as soon as possible. Uh, first, I'd like to hear what you consider a fair price. I spoke with my broker. She said that 150000 is more than equitable. You are a fellow Scotsman. I was thinking more like, uh, 50. <laughs> or six acres of choice waterfront property with a castle. But they're only ruins. As I was explaining to Brian, I want to move my great-great-great-grandfather Angus Castle to the island. Hello. Now, I just to get to him. What's up, Joe? It's going to be a very costly operation. Good, I'll be right there. I'm not sure that we care about it. If you'll excuse me, the court is about to recess, and I want to be there when they do. But, Brian, you're, you're not going to leave me here alone, are Why you? Why not? Why not? I trust you. Well, I... Not me, I'm worried about. <laughs> I, I fail to see the humor. But surely you can see the irony. Kissing another man in front of your husband. <laughs> I suggest that you find a way to hold your personal antagonisms in check or I'll hold you both in contempt of court, understood? Yes, Your Honor. I have orders that I was to escort Miss Talbot from this courtroom. Nobody told me that, sir. Is there a problem, Mr. Hobson? No, Your Honor. Mr. Hughes, you're a very fine lawyer. I expect you to accede to the district attorney's objections the first time they're raised. It won't happen again, Your Honor. Court is adjourned until 2 o'clock. Well, that's one for our side. I'm sure Mr. Hobson didn't want the jury to see Marcia Talbot being treated like the common criminal she is. Ms. Hargrove, thank you very much for coming on such short notice. Well, as I told you in the phone, I'll be happy to end. I can't help you all. Thank you. Arlene, I'd like you to meet my wife, Kim. Oh, how do you do? It's nice to meet you. I'm so sorry we couldn't have met under different circumstances. I am, too. Listen, why don't we uh, send out for some food? We can eat in the witness room. I'll take care of that, son. Okay. We're going to go. Why don't you tell me? Okay, I'll Yeah, I'm real proud of you. Well, it's not over yet, kiddo. You had any luck figuring out how that crystal cylinder got on the fireplace? Not yet, but I'm working on it. Franny, it's essential that you figure this out before I put you on the witness stand. I know. Okay. Let's see. Darling, <laughs> I've never been so proud of you <clears throat> in my life. Well, I just hope I showed that jury what a liar Marcia Talbot is. <laughs> How about having some lunch? Hmm? Uh, John, if you don't mind, I'd like to say something. We better really get going because the restaurants about here are going to be jammed up. And I only some... caught the end of your opening statement, but it was wonderful. It really was. Thanks. Uh, did you get the results of your test back? Yes, I'm healthy as an ox. Good. Look, you want to join us for lunch in the window? Well, how'd you like to have a little lunch with uh, Margo and myself? Oh, sounds great. Right, let's get going okay. because these restaurants, I'm telling you, they really feel oh. so cool. Tom, darling. Good. Look, I don't think Margo ever fell out of love with you. But if she thought she was, believe me, she's falling back in love. I'm not so sure about that, Mom. Oh, darling. Hi, Roy. Hi, Heather. Listen, um, I saw your name on Hobson's witness list. Yeah, I was hoping since he threw me off the case, he wouldn't call me. Don't worry, I'm calling you too. <laughs> Great. 
Tom, I just wanted to tell you that I thought your opening statement was more moving than anything I've ever read in a textbook. Uh, well, thank you, Heather, but unfortunately we don't win cases on opening statements. <laughs> it was great. We better get to lunch. All right, I'll see you later. Okay. Oh, Tom Hughes. What? When in the world are you ever going to learn to just take a compliment? <clears throat> Darling, you were magnificent this morning. You ought to be proud of yourself, okay? Spoken like a true mother. <laughs> Thank you.